Hey guys, welcome to a new exciting tutorial on DaVinci Resolve. If it's the first time you're on my channel and you want to learn how to use DaVinci Resolve and create some exciting special effects, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Today I'm gonna show you how to use the duplicate node in Fusion. And that's what we want to create. Here in my timeline I have five different clips that I downloaded from the Productions Create website. On the website you will find material on almost every topic. If I enter zombies for example I get this overview. You can choose between three formats. Zip contains a PNG sequence with transparent background. I prefer this format in DaVinci Resolve. MOV with PNG codec cannot be used directly in DaVinci Resolve and must be therefore be converted first. And finally MP4, the background of this clip is not transparent and therefore not recommended. The link to the production script website is included in the video description. Ok, back to DaVinci Resolve. To create a composition of these clips I add a fusion composition that can be found in the toolbox effects. Here I am increasing the duration of this composition and switch to Fusion. For my media pool I add the background image and create a merge node. Now I connect the merge node with the media out and the media in node with the merge node. Next I add the first zombie. I want to move the zombie to the left side and maybe change the size later, therefore I add a transformation node. Next I add the next zombie. Also here we need a merge node. Well. I want to duplicate these zombies here. To do this I add a duplicate node. There are two different types of duplicate nodes. One for 2D and one for 3D. In our case we select the first proposed node for 2D. Here in the inspector I can make some adjustments to uh, this duplicate node. First I can set the number of copies of this clip. To duplicate the zombies all I have to do is to move this clip and resize it. What you can see here is that the duplicated zombies are moving identically at the same time. Um, we can solve this problem by increasing the time offset. Now the clip of the duplicated zombie starts later. Ok, let's add the other zombies. I do the same like before. Now the composition is finished, um, finally let's adjust the color of this composition. For this I add an adjustment clip above this composition and increase its duration. Then I switch to color and apply a LUT. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to see more please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.